brings one through his loyalty, dedication, and service has influenced the lives of all of us here tonight. Our recipient this year had a life-changing experience occur at age nine, one that determined his career for the rest of his life. His older brother had been given a Kodak Brownie camera, and but the brother's interest centered on music. Thus, the camera was handed down to our Citizen of the Year for 2023. This Kodak Brownie camera was the first camera that Cecil Williams used that started his illustrious career in photography. Congratulations. <laughs> and yes, he still has that camera at his studio. Yeah. This event was the beginning of a lifelong passion that defined his career. After receiving this initial camera, Cecil began to take pictures of people on Sundays when they were dressed in their finest apparel. And at that young age, he realized he could make a little bit of money from this new passion. Also, Cecil would earn a dollar or two taking pictures of people visiting Edisto Gardens and so forth. So he learned business skills from an early age on. As a teenager, Cecil began photographing various desegregation efforts in South Carolina and photographed many notable pictures during the Briggs versus Elliott case in Somerton that helped define the civil rights movement. This case was one of five that was ultimately combined to create the Brown versus Board of Education suit, the historic 1954 Supreme Court case that declared that separate but equal schools are unconstitutional. By the time Cecil was 14 years old, he was one of 25 photographers who freelanced for Jet Magazine. Jet needed a local photographer to record the civil rights movement in Orangeburg, in South Carolina, and specifically in Orangeburg. In January of 1960, Cecil, as a college student, was visiting some relatives in New York City. And he, while there, he heard that um, Senator John F. Kennedy was going to hold a press conference at a local hotel where he would announce his candidacy for President of the United States. So Cecil gathered his ever present camera and went down there to uh, take pictures of this phenomenon. But when Senator Kennedy was nearing the podium, the security people had other thoughts and were getting ready to escort Cecil out of the building. <laughs> Kennedy noticed what was happening and told the security people to let Cecil stay, as well as be seated right there on the front row. So he had a ringside seat. Kennedy would go on to feature Cecil as one of his favorite photographers, even allowing Cecil to ride in his 10-seat campaign airplane during the campaign.